Race 10, the Melling Chase, a two mile four, grade one. And the runners are as follows. So number one is Houston Assassin for Vinnie Gerard, Joe Berger Granite for Craig Allen. Lake St. Croix for Darren Thompson, Mayday Mayday for Craig Allen, The Overlord for Joshua Sutherland, Artistic Rose for Darren Hooley, Call for Beach for Darren Thompson, Gold Coast for Craig Beck with Helter Skelter for Neil Van Rensburg, Ozark Clear for Vinnie Gerard, Popular Few for David Hooley, Chambry Brady for David Robertson, Vintage Trader for Leon Van Rensburg, and Vision for Joshua Sutherland, 14. Just over two and a half miles here. So you can win the Melling Chase. Drags Rays dropped and they're away and racing. sort themselves out. Really, really wants to take this up. He's pulling for his head as the leader at the moment is Houston Assassin for Vinnie Gerard. We come down to the first the 14 knife to take. It's Houston Assassin reluctantly leading from a wall of forces. Widest of all is I think the Overlord. Just Josh Sutherland. They get to the first. We'll take it well. But to the slower the rear was popular view. Couple of these haven't got room at the moment. We still wait for him to see who wants to take it up. It's Houston Assassin that leads us into the second, takes it well from Lake St. Croix on the inside. So across the fence is the Overlord. Against the fence is uh, Gold Coast for Craig Beck with the go to the third. And we'll take that as well. Again, Pecton ran the tools where it was popular view. But it's Houston Assassin. It's going to swing left handed. With tight bends here. And aim Drake, if you're going wide, you're going to lose a few lengths. Even worse on the other course, oh, and the leader went straight through the top of that, lost all his momentum. Houston Assassin almost gave his first place away to Sean Brady has moved into a second. Then the Lake St. Croix begins the fence, Overlord, Vintage Trader out wide. Green Sips mid pack is Ozark clear, wider still is Josh Southern's other horse of vision. And then first of the Craig Allen horses, Joe Burke ran it, and the leader went straight through the top of that again. So poor at the rear was Helter Skelter. He's hanging on to his lead here, this Houston Assassin, with his bashing fences for fun. And it's still Houston Assassin from Vintage Trader, is about seven deep. As they get to the sixth, much better jump by the leader there. Poor jump this time by Vintage Trader, shuffles back one as many room at the rear, was Helter Skelter. So we're being led by the two Vinnie Gerard horses, Houston Assassin and Ozark Clear. These two will lead us down to the next, which will be the last next time round. So it's Houston Assassin leads into it. Well, better jump. Ozark Clear was over it well, as, as can be expected. And they're a couple of lengths away from the chasing pack, which is just being led by Sharby Brady. And you've got Gold Coast pushing through up against the fences. Overlord, wider of those is Culver Beach, Artistic Rose, and Vision. They're followed through up against the fence by Lake St. Croix, the two Leon Van Ring. Berg horses, Helter Skelter and Joe Berg Granite on his inside. And outside of that is the other horse, the Leon Vintage Trader. And then Mayday, Mayday, popular view. But back to the front, it's Houston Assassin that still leads from Ozark Clear in second, moving through to third now is Lake St. Croix. And you've got uh, Gold Coast for Craig Beck without wide running better now is Vision. But it's still this Houston Assassin, looks like he's going to be joined by Lake St. Croix now. So Houston Assassin, Lake St. Croix, and Ozark Clear, these are your three out wide is Vision in fourth up against the fences, the other Josh Southern, also the Overlord as they come to the eighth. Lake St. Croix steadied himself for it. One that didn't get over it well at all at the rear was Helter Skelter, the only grey in the race. But Ozark Clear takes it back up again from Lake St. Croix and Houston Assassin out wide is the vision. To go over the ninth, they'll take that one well again. So at the back was Helter Skelter, but it's Ozark Clear. Lake St. Croix and Houston Assassin. Five six deep is vision. So go over the tenth, Paul jump there this time by Ozark Clear, but it's Lake St. Croix that noses in front as they swing left handed. As they come up to line up for the judge with five furlongs to go. It's Houston Assassin and Lake St. Croix. A length and a half back to Vision and Ozark Clear. Running on well now is, I think, the Overlord. But on the wide outside coming out of nowhere, here comes Chambry Brady. But it's this Lake St. Croix just holding off everybody at the moment. The Houston Assassin, Vision, Ozark Clear, Shaw, Shawbury Brandy, the Overlord, and Artistic Rose. Running on well now is Joe Berg Granite and Popular View. But up front is Houston Assassin. Leads them into three from home. Jumps it well from Vision. And it's Houston Assassin and Vision from Lake St. Croix. Chambry Brady is sort of just shuffling back now, but it's Houston Assassin. Still leads inside as we come down to the two. It's Houston Assassin from Lake St. Croix and Vision. Over the penultimate, they will take it well. They land together. It's Houston Assassin and Lake St. Croix. And it's Lake St. Croix just noses in front here from Houston Assassin. Vision and Chambry Brady have got nothing left. So it's Lake St. Croix just holding off. 
chance now from Houston Assassin on his inside. Brennan Sign tried with Brian Furlong with one to jump. Lake St. Croix gets to it well. He's over at Houston Assassin's got a little bit more, but this Lake St. Croix is not for catching. It's Lake St. Croix for Darren Thompson who's going to take the men in chase. Running on really well into second there was Mayday. Mayday hardly got a, a mention in the comms. So a good win there for Darren Thompson. Takes the Melling chase with Lake St. Croix. Going on well was Mayday Mayday. Third was Joshua Sutherland's vision. I think popular view actually for David Hudegard for fourth. Now long time leader Houston Assassin, but Vinnie Gerard was fifth. <laughs>